Somebody lift your hands and give God praise. Let us worship the Lord today. Let us worship the Lord today. Come on, give God a shout of praise in this room. Come on, let the devil be upset with your worship. Come on. Give God a glory. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. We got to disturb the camp of the devil because he tries to disturb the camp of the saints. So we got to disturb his camp. Let him know that hear what he has no power over us. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, the church needs to get in the position to war. Because we're in a warfare. Amen. Amen. I want to greet the spirit of the Lord. Who is the head of my life. I hope everybody can say that. <laughs> he is the head of my life. Not only saying it, but I know that he is the head of my life. I want to greet Pastor Campbell in his absence. I want to greet you, Deacon Johnson. I want to greet all the saints of the Most High God in this place today. Sister Auntie Marcy, I want to greet you too. And I pray that the Lord will continue to give you strength. All right. If nobody tells you so them love you, Deacon Pusey love you. <laughs> My God. Deacon Pusey love everybody. Just saying. <laughs> but you know, you know, you know, I love you, Sister Marcy. I love you, Sister Marcy. My God. I, I am standing here before you. Seeing the time and also seeing the message and also looking at it and saying that God, come, make it compact. <laughs> All right? I'm not going to stay long. Don't worry. I, I, I always say what I mean and mean what I say when I said I'm not going to stay long. So give me about 10 to 15 minutes. And... <laughs> <laughs> understand me but we also have to understand the move of God right amen amen, amen. praise God amen. I'm standing before you I'm not doing so 100 in the body but I'm still carrying on I'm still holding on because God is still a mighty God I still believe God is a able God to do anything I believe that he is still the God that the word said that he what he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask, think, or even imagine. Ah, uh, God Almighty, I still believe that he is the one that rose Lazarus from the dead. I still believe that he is Daniel's God. I still believe that he is the God of the fiery furnace. I don't hear the church yet. I said, I still believe that he is, he is, he is the I am that I am. I still believe that he is the bomb in Gilead. I'm going to get excited, but I hear somebody say we should always be excited for Jesus. So if you don't want to be excited, I'm going to be excited for me and I'm going to be excited for you too. Because I know what the Lord has done for me. He has brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, glory to God. I was down in the pit. My God. But he pulled me out. A songwriter said he brought me from a what? Mary Clay. He plant my feet on a rock to stay. And that is the reason why I cannot go there. I sing and I shout. My Savior came down. My God. I don't see the church getting excited yet, you know. I'm going to preach. That's why I said, give me, give me 50 minutes. I'm going to preach. But I want the church to be excited for a moment for God. Because the accident that you missed this week, Lord God Almighty, some of us travel on a plane this week. The plane could have landed at the sea, but God allowed it for landing at the airport. Lord God Almighty, 
Oh, glory to God. We could have been dead sleeping in our grave. But God, God Almighty, who is rich in mercy. Lord Jesus. My God. My God, I want to get in the message, you know, but I still want the church to understand that God is worthy to be praised. Whether you like the situation that you're going through or whether you don't like it, God is still worthy to be praised. When I think about the very the near misses that I've encountered, I say, God, you're worthy. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Always, I, I said I, I'm gonna be excited for me, and I'm gonna be excited for you, because I know what God has done for me, and I know that what He is doing for you, because you are here today, so that means He's doing something. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. So now I'm gonna get into the message. I'm gonna get into the message now. Right, this might change the scene a little bit. <laughs> but I ask the Lord, what am I going to preach to your people? And I always pray about it and I always sit down and say, God, whether me like it, if I meet a lick, make it lick me. I make it lick the church as well. Because word a word, don't you? The word that I got was two words. Be Vigilant. Be vigilant. The age that we are living in require us to be vigilant. The church is losing its vigilancy. Watch it. I said this one might not come across... But it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, but not sorry to somebody say. I say, the church need to regain their vigilancy. Because at some point, we've lost it. If you are considered to be a soldier, you are required to be vigilant. Not only vigilant, but sober. A man that is sober can be vigilant. But a man that is vigilant is not sober. I wonder, I wonder if you missed that. You can be vigilant, but you're not sober. But if you're sober, you're going to be vigilant. <laughs> the Bible says what? Be sober and be what? Vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, he walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And as long as I live, I'm gonna be a soldier for Christ and I'm gonna be sober and I'm gonna be vigilant. The word vigilant means to keep careful, watch for possible danger or difficulties we got to be on the alert because the devil he is there so the bible is saying us to keep careful watch of the adversary I was talking to one of my brothers the other day, Brother Tariq, and I was explaining to him that I was observing the, the way that the lion operates. When the lion seeks after his prey, he stoops down low. So the prey doesn't see him. Lord Jesus. But the prayer is not vigilant enough to see the adversary. My God, I wonder if I'm talking to the church. Because the church has become so comfortable, they cannot see the, ad My God, the adversary. 
We get so comfortable coming to church on a regular basis and feeling as everything is okay in our lives. But we cannot see the danger that is out there. We need to gain our vigilancy. Be vigilant. I observe the lion. The lion stoops down in the bushes. He watches the prey. This is how the enemy is watching us. And he allows you to bend your head down. Then he makes two steps towards you. My God. The devil allows you to become complacent and lazy. No longer want, no longer want to read God's word. So he takes two steps closer to you. My God. I wish after I finish preaching this message that somebody become vigilant. Because the enemy, what he's doing is allowing you to feel comfortable like nothing will come near you. So the lion makes two steps. But when you hear the sound, I realize the prayer, lift up him head. And him look, but the lion duck. Mm -hmm. But the lion has not left. He is still there. So when you look away again and you start to feel good and nice, it makes three more steps closer to you. At this point in time, now you see the lion. But you are saying that he is far. Mighty rock of ages. Sometimes we draw some people so close to we and cloak them up on we. And even when the devil like, use them for carry you down, you don't realize. Because you now become so distracted by the comfort they are giving to you. Because they are saying exactly what you want to hear. I don't know who not going to like it. But it's the truth. The enemy gets so close. The lion starts to make enough step towards you. You feel as if he is far. But that one leap that he has left to take to you will take you right down. That one leap will take you out. While I, was, while I received the message, I said, God, I'm going to talk about Samson. And why I'm going to talk about Samson is because, let's go to Judges chapter 16. Verse 5 said, And the lords of the Philistine came unto her and said unto her, Entice him. I look, give me five minutes. I looked at it, and what happened was that Samson <laughs> told her that, hear what? The first thing he said that to her, that thought, bind, if you bind me with seven green wits that were never dry. I will be weakened, number one. But when the Phil, when, when she, Delilah said to Samson, Samson, the Philistine is up on you. Him rise up and devour. Number one. So much time, Samson, you see, sometimes that's what happened to us. We, 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 we allow the enemy to come and press us and get all of the information out of us that he needs. Before we run with the enemy, we are playing with the enemy. We are playing anky panky with the enemy and feel as if that it is okay. Second encounter. Samson said to her, say, bind me with new ropes. 
that were never used. Some rise up again. As, as in all times. And fight. Devour them again. But I observed something. With the third time. He said. Weave the seven locks. Of my head. At this point in time. Samson vig has lost his vigilancy. Because he starts to allow the enemy to play with him weakness. I wonder if the church will get what I'm saying. Him start making the enemy touch him weakness. My God Almighty. I wish the, I wish the church of God would become vigilant. We are allowing the enemy to touch our weakness. Giving him loopholes. I'm just say, weave myself locks. And she weave it and put pin in it. <laughs> the enemy start play with. Him start lose vigilancy right there. Once the enemy start touch around your weakness. You lose it. Your mind gone. Your body gone. Your spirit man gone. Over to the enemy. So until you reach to the point where some say, You might want to tell her, whole heart. Number one, nothing never happened. Number two, nothing never happened. Number three, she got closer. Number four, Samson tell her in whole heart. And Samson tell her, say, if you cut off, if you shave my head, I'm going to lose, I'm going to become weak. And because Samson told her his whole heart, she realized, Lord God, that it was his whole heart. <laughs> When you tell the devil your whole heart, he will realize that it is your whole heart. When you give him that loophole, he will walk through that door. And when you reach that point, you cannot pull out. It is too late. Church of God, stop playing with the enemy. Me and the devil, we are no friend. We are no parry. No matter how operate like your thing say, it is okay if we take a one slide. She rub him head, Lord Jesus. She pump him down. I saw some people go out in the church, you know. I feel, I look sorry for, Lord Jesus. My God, me. I tell you, I, I don't know. I don't know, no, but some people are look sorry for in a last and closing days. These are days we're living in, Sister Brody. We are look pity. No. We need to be vigilant and run to Jesus. Time for we start receive the real comfort that is in Christ Jesus. The Bible said that there is comfort in Him. When 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 I talk to Brother Tyre this morning and I look at the world manifold, I'm an engineer, so I can talk about it. When you look at manifold, Brother Andre, you know something about manifold too. When you look at a manifold, it has several different outlets. But even though it has several different outlets, it's one source. <laughs> I wonder if you get what I'm saying. You have several different outlets, but the power is only coming from one source. Let me give an example. 
You have six cylinders, you have four cylinder vehicles, you have eight cylinders, you have generators with 12 cylinders. But hear what? I still one engine. <laughs> One source distributing mercy. I don't want to be complacent. I don't need certain things from people. What I need is prayer and I need God. If we, if we preach it and we talk about he, he, he will supply our needs according to his riches in glory and, and, and then at the end of the day we don't believe it. What sense does it make? We lose vigilancy when we, when we start to act weak, weaky, weaky when we know that God said, yo, I've given you the power to do what? <laughs> but we want sister see if we're sorry for we. Boy, I, I, as I say, you might not like it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. We need to be vigilant. We need to be aware. Because danger is lurking at our foot. And if we don't realize that there is danger lurking at our foot, we're going to die. If anybody upset is cool, it's okay with me. You can come give me a hug after church. You have to, we, we, let me say we, I'm not going to say you. We have to gain vigilancy. We need to be aware because the devil is there and he's trying to kill us. You think the devil wants you to make it into the kingdom? He would have preferred to see you die and go to hell and come join him in the lake of fire. But I'm telling somebody, I know that I know, I know in whom I believe. And I am persuaded that he is able. The Bible said, no unto him that is able to keep who? me from falling. And to present who faultless. My God, we are exceeding great. Oh, Jesus of mercy. I believe that God is able to carry me all the way, Sister Deandra. He who started a good work is able to finish it. But it is for us to ensure that we be as the potter in no. Be as the clay in the potter's hand. So that when he's fashioning us, we can be well fashioned. We don't tell him to fashion us how he wa or we want to be fashioned. We, we, I, mean, I mean, when, God, when I was talking to God about this word, I'm saying, I called somebody and, say, and I said, Yo, I said, God, I said, bro. I don't know how I'm going to say this to the, to the church because this, this, is, this, is, this is bad. This is bad because we, 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 we have lost our vigilancy. We are no longer aware of spiritual things. When we, we can't discern spiritual things anymore. When, when, when somebody needs prayer, we are no longer vigilant that they are dying. Mighty God. We are no longer vigilant that God needs to do a work. We no longer are sick even when the signs are before us. We are allowing some walls to be built in the church. And the walls that are building is not strengthening the church. It's weakening the church. We are, 
last week, we too long we are depending on pity. And I feel sorry for you. And we, we, we depend on the pity and we don't say let us pray. Because we lose sight of the vigilancy. We are no longer aware. I mean, I mean, oh my God. We are no longer aware. I observe brother Joseph. How oh, oh Potiphar's wife try to dry me in. But the man maintained him focused and, and his vigilancy that he was aware that he was. You mean no means me. You no mean me no good. Him detect it. When you live in a life of vigilancy, you will detect when the danger is coming. The man of God say, you know what? How can I do this wickedness and sin against my God? Even when the enemy are wall on by your clothes, the man run left it and say, keep that. Come here, brother Andre. Come here, brother Andre. Hold on, public jacket. The enemy holding on to your garment. But he's not holding on to you. He's only holding the garment. Mighty God. So I can run out of the garment. Brother Joseph said, me not going to do this wickedness and sin against my God. I'd rather to fight for my God. Put me in a prison. Put me in a prison. God will deliver me. He delivered Daniel out of the lion's den. I remember Peter in the prison. He delivered him too. I don't need this clothes because guess what naked came I in this world and naked will I return the Lord give it and the Lord take it blessed be the name of the Lord I wish I have a church with me these men were vigilant the three Hebrew boys they were vigilant me now bow to no Satan. Me now bow to him. God Almighty. I say I need to be vigilant. I say even if. My God Almighty. God don't deliver. Me still now bow. Sister Janet. Two minutes. These men decided to hear what? talk about the Hebrew boys a little bit they decided that they're not going to bow but that's not the only thing can you imagine you the king decided he was going to heat the fire seven times they now have a reason to back out I wonder where's the persevering church I wonder where the church that is persevering the fire hot my God, them have a reason to run, but they remain vigilant. Lord God, Lord God, you're preaching with me. I said, You got to be vigilant. The men say, Yeah, what? even though you do that, King, me now bow. Me now have no other route all but Jesus. My God, I feel good. I said, I said, I said, the men say, you know what? We now bow. Fire at true me night. I wonder how much we can say that. How much we can say that. How much we can say that. Because we lose the vigilancy. 
when the devil, when, 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 when look at temptation rub on our shoulder, we're ready for run. We're no longer vigilant. We are healed. We are healed to temptation. When look at test come out, we heal. We're ready for run. We start, we have white flag. The devil is a liar. No retreat. No surrender. May I come out, may I go head on, panic me, man. I always tell my wife that here what? Anything happen, God will work it out. See how they sit and tell you. If God bring you to something, He might go bring you truth. I'm not gonna give up my vigilancy because I feel as if I am I I I I want to be weak. His strength is perfect. When all strength is gone, vigilancy is in Jesus. Church, stand on your feet. Church, stand on your feet. Church, stand on your feet. I'm not going to take you no further with it. But I want the church to understand that they need to be, we need to become vigilant. We need to become sober. Because we're going through some places. As it's the word say what? Yeah, though we walk through the what? I will fear no what? For thou art with my rod and I, they comfort me because what? Surely what? We have, we have a God that will never fail. And we need to believe in him and we need to trust him. Because he is able. Because he is able. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. If you feel like God can do it, God can do it. It's not only to get excited. Let me tell you that. Let me take it down a notch. It's not only to get excited and jump around. But after the excitement, we should remain vigilant. I said, when the music stop playing, and you're there who am alone, that is when your vigilancy is re more required. I know when you're there in here with we, when you're in your own corner, and in come trying thing, be vigilant. Be vigilant. I could say much more, but be vigilant. <laughs> ah, glory to God. Be vigilant. If you can't see, ask God for something if you wash it. The devil has some ways that he will try to bring you down. But if your eyes are not open, you won't see the adversary. So, I'm encouraging us today, be vigilant. 